usually when we think about idolatry, we think about worshiping some carved out image. We think about gods in some random village somewhere. But idolatry is so much more than that. It's ascribing this title of capital L-O-R-D to anything or person that is not our Lord Almighty, our God Almighty. Idolatry is also how we lord over our own lives, although the Holy Scriptures tell us not to take any thought of it. And sometimes we get angry with God because we go through some trial or tribulation and we're expecting God to explain to us why. Why me is the question that we ask God. And then we get angry when the answer or the response is because I'm God and I said so. You see, sometimes we don't actually believe that God can answer that way. Remember when Jesus was talking to Peter and he was telling Peter, look, this is all you would have to suffer for my name's sake. And Peter turns around and looks to the beloved disciple John and says, well, what about him? And Jesus says in so many words, mind your business, just follow me. Sometimes that is the response that we get from our Lord. Don't worry about the next person. Don't compare your seasons or your trials to the next person. I am allowing you to go through this because I'm God and I know you. And we should rest with that. We should rest with the final say of the Lord, even when we don't get it, because his ways are not our ways. So let's just think a little bit differently about idolatry and ensure that we're not creating idols over our own selves and our mindsets.